If I want to be good, I got I to gotta wake up in the morning, I got to do the extra work, and I got to show up when other guys aren't, and I've got to learn, I've got to continue to be open to learning. You know, I would complain all the time that the guys ahead of me were getting more opportunity than I was. There was a certain amount of repetitions in practice, the starter would get 20, the backup would get 10, and I would get two. And I'd go in and I'd say, well, how can I ever get better? All these guys get all the reps and I only get two. And he said, just go in there and focus with the two that you got and make them as perfect as you possibly can. So I said, okay. So that's what I did. They'd put me in for those two. Man, I'd sprint in there like it was Super Bowl 49. And I did really well with those two because I brought enthusiasm. I brought some energy and I had a, a little more confidence in myself. And it went from two reps to getting four reps because those two were pretty good. Then I had four good reps. Then I got 10 good reps. And before you knew it, through this new attitude, through this new shift that Greg had said to me, you know, focus on what you can control. Focus on what you're getting, not what anyone else is getting. Whenever you get an opportunity, you take advantage of it. You treat it like it's the Super Bowl. You treat it like it's game day. Go out there and treat practice like no one else does. And I did that every single day. And it was a lot. It was taxing on me. There was a lot of stress for me, even in high school. And I look back at those times, it wasn't probably like a typical college experience because I was really motivated to play, but I had to take it to a new level that the other guys wouldn't. When I realized, man, if I want